God bless you again, global Christian friends across the globe, around the world, pastors, saints, and churches, American government, the military. <clears throat> now as for the redemption of nations, Jesus said, I say unto you that many, and there are more than 12 references at this word from Genesis to Revelation. Many shall come from the east and west and shall sit down with Abraham. You have to get the whole story between Abraham and God and of how it is related to the nations. You need to know that. And Isaac. And of how Isaac deeply, deeply affected God uh, and Jacob. And what God did to Jacob. In the kingdom of heaven is Matthew 8 and 11. <clears throat> There's a great revelation between here and there for you to understand. Fantastic revelations from that statement. And apparently those many who are privileged to join these three patriarchs in the kingdom of heaven are not the children of the kingdom. For the children of the kingdom, sad to say, shall be cast out like the adversary of Revelation chapter 12 into outer darkness. Matthew 8 and 12. What would a preacher say a billion years from the future? Preach in a world of the day to those that go out on Sunday mornings. We're talking about the preacher from the future. From one billion years into the future. What kind of knowledge would he preach today? First of all, there are no more pastors a billion years from now. In a billion years from the future, God's field would have been hyperbolized and gamma ray instructor pads and gamma rays instinctor pads, two kinds of gamma ray pads would be introduced. Consciousness Nords, N-O-I-D-S, virtue creatures would have replaced space travel. The transfixation repairs of solar systems would have been a mine of the past generation and first mine properties are harnessed and used for futuristic field studies. Matter would matter a billion years in. The faith gene of visions would have been seen with new eyes the third power of creation a billion years in. It took an incredible design to make and create the face of any creature 
And I, I want to say here that the design, and this ought to be clearly understood, the design of the difference between a honeybee and a mosquito, their designs. The design of the honeybee is far more godly than that of the mosquito. And you need to understand these kind of things because when you look at the design of different creatures, the different species and their designs, whether you are able to draw them or see them and understand how they are structured, you come into great knowledge. And you learn to appreciate their design. For instance, the common house fly, two weeks span, yet look at the design, jet propulsion that it has. Look at the simple bombardier beetle, 2,000 degree temperature for any one of its predators that desire to make a meal of it. And uh, Looking at an incredible design that takes the, cre the face of any creature, even the face of microbes living deep beneath the surface of the earth, also known as rock eaters. Although the Son of Man has nowhere to lay his head, Matthew 8 and 20, and Luke 9, 58. Having not where to lay his head, uh, his head like matter in space. We're not claiming that all of the material matter, which is also suspended within space, comprises and make up the head of the Son of Man. Although a lot of material matter in space is comprised and is made up of thermal imaging and nuclear fusion, it is also in suspension. You might want to appreciate the impurities of iron giving the purple spectrum of light as well, too. His face has been identified here, the Son of Man. I saw seven golden candlesticks in menorah one manure for each day of the week. One earth day is 24 hours. And seven earth days is a week. But when you orbit the planet Earth at 25,000 miles per hour, for seven earth days in a week, you have accomplished 15 and one has earth days and a seven day earth day period. Although your orbital time is rapid in transversing the planet earth. We'll continue this shortly. God bless you, Robert Christian friends.